Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing something simple, um, just to, to keep things relatively fast. Um, I'm going to be creating this uh, render of a face, where everything is kind of like decimated. Um, if we quickly pop into SolidView, you see it's just a, a head that's been extruded, some recursion is going on here. Uh, we can continue adding on to this, um, but... Uh, First, I want to show you guys the simple, a simple form of doing this. Um, I will link below how I learned to do this because I didn't learn how to. Uh, I learned this from someone else on YouTube, and I feel it's. Uh, I need to give credit to them, so I I can't remember their name right now. Now I'll, I'll I'll link below, and I'll probably put a um, a screenshot of the video that I used to um, learn this. But anyways, let's continue on. Uh, if I'm going to import a head, in this case I use the Sketchfab add-on, so I imported a random head that I found. In this case I found this planar head, but we can really use any head you want. So actually, just to prove a point, I'm going to bring in this head. Now usually things come in uh, either kind of small or um, kind of broken up so what we do is just select the ones the head merge them merge them using control G J Let's scale this up a little bit just so it's around the same scale as the other head now let's scale this up a little bit and uh, now if we hit tab we see uh, we have a lot of vertices. Um, let's go mesh, clean up, merge by distance. This will merge any gaps. Next thing we want to do is lower that um, that count a little bit. So, turning on wireframe view, we can add a decimate modifier. Set it to zero point two. Maybe that will work. Mm, zero point one. Okay, 0 0.1. I'm going to apply that using Control A on the modifier. And then turn off wireframe view. Next thing I'm going to do is add a geometry node system. Let's, uh, I don't know why I cut that. I'm, I'm very used to doing that now. But now let's um, create a extrude mesh. This is going to extrude everything. Let's lower that down. Now, a lot. This is still a lot of faces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a merge by distance. Set this to connected because I prefer that. And I'm gonna merge as much as possible without losing too much detail. And the next node we want is a scale elements node. Setting using the top selection that the extrude geometry extrude mesh node gives out, we can then scale only the top portion of our um, mesh. Now this is everywhere. There is no like. Uh, it's all evened out, so I want it to be a little bit more chaotic. So I don't want all the all of this mesh to be um, selected. So I'm going to use a utilities compare. Set this to less than or equal. We're going to use a mesh face area to compare the face area to this bottom number. And the result will be what we use. So if we do that, we see only parts of it is being extruded and taken into account. There we go. After that, we can just uh, join this up. So control. 
G and then just duplicate this and we get more subdivisions in our uh, in our mesh. Something else we can do, actually let's get rid of one. If we take another extrude mesh, take the selection, put it in there, and use a boolean math set to not to invert the selection, we can then extrude the faces that we didn't, um, that was not being selected from the previous node system. If I hit remove individual, we see we get our little gaps. And we can continue to just mess around with our extrusions. In this case, I'm going to uh, probably individualize this so I can make another selection there you go From here, we can also continue to use this top in order to uh, calculate something else. So let's say a, let's bring this outside along with, let's put a distribute points on faces, use a selection here and then merge these. And now we have points that are appearing on the surface of our uh, geometry, but only on the in interfaces. And from there, we can cont we can uh, instance stuff like wires and stuff. So let's actually do that. So let's go curve, not curve. Uh, instance on points. We are going to instance. Uh, curve lines it's gonna all be up there so we want to add the actually I think I got the wrong thing one sec rotate Euler align to Euler not my bad and then there you go Right there, you're set to the z-axis. We get a bunch of um, points only coming out from the faces. Actually, let's just uh, use a mesh primitive atmosphere. Just keep it simple, and then randomize the scale. So utilities, random value. And from there, if we go back into our camera view, look at it through the render tab, we see we've essentially destroyed our face and it looks like something interesting with this lighting setup. Uh, we can continue to work on it because I think the nose is a little bit too bloated up. So maybe, yep, I like that one. So we have successfully destroyed a face. Uh, this lesson just really is to um, show the power of the extrude mesh and the scale elements mixed together along with uh, selecting and masking in order to um, distribute points on specific faces but not others. You could also invert that mask using knots and uh, I hope this has been useful and uh, I don't know, create uh, awesome renders. I'm going to render this out now and probably show it at the end of this uh, video. So enjoy and see ya.